It's been three days since the killings and the residents who are still apprehensive over the development blocked the only federal highway connecting Edo and Ondo states in the area. As they demanded the intervention of security agencies, the situation attracted the divisional police officer and officers from the Ikeadolo Police Division. Some travelers who included some top government functionaries were denied passage by the protesters. Others called on the government to find a lasting solution to the incessant headsman attack in the area and other parts of the state. They will kill and run away inside the bush. So this water that all these uh, villagers are protesting, we said we, we agree with them. We agree with them. We beg government to come and assist. Come and intervene on this matter. We are already stranded. We've been stranded for over, over one hour now. The situation earlier attracted some soldiers who appealed to the protesters to reopen the road. In a telephone interview, a Do State Police Public Relations Officer, DSP Chidi Wabozo, said no policeman was killed in the incident. However, some policemen sustained injuries, adding that investigation into the incident is ongoing. No police officer in that incident is dead. We don't really want to give any chance in uh, what we are doing so that uh, at the end of the day we will be able to the record success what we are doing. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.